another Light for the Journey. We're glad you're joining us tonight. Uh, with me is my co-host, Terry. Thank you for being here. I always love it when you're here. We're here. And even more important, not that you aren't important, but you know, some, some, some people are just more <laughs> yeah. important than others. They know what's coming. Uh-huh. His <laughs> lovely bride is back there behind all of the, all of the cameras and working the computers and switching uh, the, the different cameras and keeping things humming around here. She's a good girl to have around, Terry is Linda. I didn't mention her name. Yeah, yeah we probably should. Yeah, his wife Linda. Linda, thanks for being here. If you're if this is the first time you've ever joined us, uh, right down there in the corner is our web address. If you'll go to there, we have a chat room. You get that right behind me. See Linda's Linda, she's sharp. Um, you get to be a part of the and ask questions and uh, do make comments and and obviously there's comments going on already. The chat room is already having fun. So, um, Light for the Journey is a, is a ministry where we take a look at life through the light of scripture. Um, there was a lot of scripture today. We're not gonna, we're gonna have very minimal scripture tonight, mm. uh, but talk about it. Um, but we want to do this thing called life um, and we want to do it well and we want to do it as Christ has designed it and so that's what this program is about where we can discuss and work way, our way through some things and you know real life happens terry it just does um and you guys um already know that let me say this um if you're joining us and you're on youtube uh, if you're watching it after the fact and you like what you're what you're seeing you, you know uh, subscribe to our channel you get notices this program happens at seven o'clock central time every Sunday night, unless I go on vacation, it seems like, even though I've tried to remote in. Um, and um, leave your comments, you know, if you don't like it, you know, you can do a thumbs down too. That's what, that's the beauty of YouTube. You don't have to like it. Um, we know we're not for everybody, right, Terry? Not everybody likes true. you. Can you imagine that? I can't believe that. But but somebody out there somewhere just doesn't like you. I'm just, just saying, all right? Now, everybody likes me. Just. So we know. <laughs> no, I know better than that. Anyhow, um, what, what, oh, one what, what other housekeeping business before I move on. To those of you who were trying to get on um, this morning, uh, I noticed that you, you shared and reported back. Leon and um, Rick said that the stream wasn't working, and um, I'm going to look into that. And so we'll talk more about that in the post show. So here we are. Today, we turned on the lights. Well, actually, I think we turned, we turned off the off lights, too, didn't we? Part of the time. Yeah, yes. we. I was I was in the dark. Could you tell? Mm -hmm. I didn't know where I was in my message. Yeah, but you had your special little light. I have my special little light. Yes, yeah, you my did. personal. I, I have a personal light. Just you know, that's because God loves me. Well, anyhow, boy, I, I am in a mood, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Uh, you, you know what's coming your way. You, you probably <sighs> dread it by now. You know, what did you think? Uh, did you learn anything new? And more, I think more importantly, you never, you never really say too much along these lines. One day you're going to surprise me. Maybe. Uh, would, yeah. Would you have added, did anything come to your mind that you thought, oh, this would have fit perfectly here, or Pastor, this would have been a cool angle to go with, or... Uh, I think we got those all coming yet. Uh, we said we could be on this for three four weeks yeah so, yeah, yeah. Um, today was just a little primer so to speak yeah T the title yeah. of the, of the <clears throat> series that we're doing is walking in the light and uh what the, the title of today's message was what is the light so what's your take uh what do you want to share with us i don't really have any earth shaking <laughs> things okay, to nothing, add. nothing majorly new for you mm, nothing not, no. nothing you heard differently um I, I was I haven't watched the video so I was curious as, as far as the illustration goes you know uh, there were some neat concepts that um, that I you know that God spoke to me about and, and I'm kind of like John uh, the Apostle John I'm kind of fixated on this whole subject mm -hmm. of, of God uh, the light and us being a reflection of the light but but in you know we live in a world um, where we as human beings, at least at this point in history, there's going to come a time, you know, when it will be different. Uh, but we've never really experienced total darkness. 
we've, we've always, through the generations, not just our generation, but, but, but throughout world history, we've always had God's presence, God's light shining. And so there's always been, you know, and that's what I was getting at, you know, yeah. some dimly, I, I think Apostle Paul said it, you know, I you see, you know, is, is vaguely or dimly yeah. lit, but um, kind Your of comment about the gentleman that uh, mm -hmm. thought was eating the wrong foods or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> but that he had experienced hell, what he said was exactly the same as some other people that had physically died mm -hmm. and were physically dead and experienced hell, mm -hmm. that it was a darkness like beyond anything you've ever experienced. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of caught my attention because it echoed exactly what others, um, later they became saved after they sure. were, you know. Well, and, and his, dead. his, you know, he said it, it's, it's horrific. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's certainly no party. Yeah. Uh, kind of thing and, and and it's got an absence of God mm -hmm. and we have never ever experienced a total absence of God when I th thought about that what he was talking about I wonder if that isn't actually adding to what they are sensing as a darkness that they've never experienced before is what's making it seem like it's just so much more dark is that there's also that absence of any kind of goodness or God mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it just makes it almost like a darkness that permeates your being right that, and that that just adds even it, more to it it's that, like the worst depression it's a, it's the yeah. worst thing you could ever experience, experience. as far as just except feeling. for it never goes away it's forever right and 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 the now is always this is what mm -hmm. this is it you know this uh, and in this moment that goes on forever mm -hmm. in total darkness. Yeah. Can I, didn't I know. add three points? You can three add. Three things that I really thought were awesome was. Okay. Well, pick up the mic. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Linda wa Linda has got some things she wants to say. We're not going to put her on the camera. That's that's a given. And uh, just, just unmute both of them. And then, then you'll. Number three? I'm not sure, Linda. I have this yeah. one. Unmute them both. This one's off, so. Okay, the three points that I really thought were, I don't know, the, I don't know what, how you would phrase it, but point one is darkness cannot overcome the light. Wow. And no light, no understanding. And darkness hates the light. Yeah. Well, thanks. Um, those those were were things that you were you took away. Uh, yeah. See, she was paying close attention. Uh, yeah, I like that too. Uh, you know, it's almost as if the whole congregation came alive when I was making that point mm -hmm. that darkness. But but I didn't make the point. John made the point, and it's, and it's yeah. in the word that darkness cannot uh, overcome it. Uh, Terry's holding back. He. Uh, Roll Tide. The mic is not working. Whose mic, Debbie, is not working? Mine? Linda's? Um, who's, who's must have been, is? Linda must have grabbed the wrong mic. That, well, she, oh, no. I the one that was laying here. Yeah. Does, you, if you don't turn the little round tubey thing on. So what she, what she said, uh, there were three points that she had. Um, and what she said, um, well, here. Darkness cannot overcome here. the light. Just, just hand it to me. See, it's our show. We can do this, right? <laughs> here <Yes>. you go. <laughs> Here's what she has on her notes, is that darkness cannot overcome the light. That's what's one of her takeaways. Um, and that no light, one of the things that, that she would share, um, that no light equals no understanding. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Oh, um, and that uh, darkness, and, and that's actually in, in John, um, John chapter 3, darkness hates the light. Darkness, mm -hmm. you know, it hates the light. You know, it, won't, it doesn't want to step into the light. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, thank you, Linda, for that. Yeah. You, here's your notes back. We're keeping her off the camera. That's, that's her desire. So, My um, wife was the same way, Linda. She did not want to be on. Well, we have cameras for her, but she doesn't want to be on. Um, so, okay. 
Well, let's go to the scripture, and I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, is that what came up? I had that working. Wow, now that's something. Oh, my goodness. Look at yeah. All of the incredible stuffness. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there's the chat. Is the chat window? It, it's working right, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, talk, talk to me about what you think about lights, and I'll go fix this for Linda. I'll show her. Uh, go ahead and put the camera on him. Well, to me, there's so much more involved here than just when they talk about light, we're talking about actual light, like lights that are shining on us, lights in the building. Um, a more to me, a lot of what it means, too, is even the, the Bible. You know, it's it, they talk about the Holy Spirit, um, you know, when things are brought to your remembrance, uh, you get revelation. You, you live life, you're going along in life, and a situation jumps up, and you've got the light in you, meaning the Word of God. It comes to your remembrance. The Holy Spirit brings it to your remembrance, and hopefully it keeps you out of trouble from making bad decisions and doing wrong things. And when they say this little light of mine, the bushel basket thing, now, and that's a strange thing too. I couldn't believe that I was seeing. Have you seen the commercial about bring your Bible to, to school? No. There's a commercial really? on TV, yes. and it's talking about there's a day, I don't know, anyway, where they're, the kids, some of the kids are walking around with the bushel basket over their head mm -hmm. in this commercial. Mm -hmm. In the commercial, and then they lift it up, you know, and the commercial is about bringing your Bible to school. So to me, a lot of it, when we're studying our Bible, learning, that light mm -hmm. is just getting more and more in us. And it's not only that we reflect it to others, yeah. you know, reflect Jesus to others, but as we, you know, what the program's called, you know, walking in the light, stuff like that. Yeah. So it, to me, there's so many different aspects. And there is. When we're and, talking and about one of the light. reasons. One of the reasons why I wanted to make sure that I talked about the Bible, mm -hmm. the Word, and, and, and Christ being the Word and, and light is that, you know, and I used uh, the song, um, you know, your word is a light into my path. And yeah, I'm, the, the song, yeah, yeah. thy word is a light into your path, and yeah. it keeps you stumbling around in the dark. You're going to get hurt. You're going to trip over everything, but when you got the word of God in you, more often than, hopefully, more often than not, the alert, the alarm kind of goes off and you know that, you know, we're Tommy not going says that darkness is the absence of light and also maybe the absence of light. No, actually it is. Uh, Tommy, if, if um, I, mean, I don't want to, I don't want Linda to change the scripture just yet, but we'll, we'll go to there after the fact. Um, if you're, if you're reading uh, the gospel of John, um, he talks about Christ being the light and the light. Mm -hmm. um, um, well, well, Linda, go, go to this. I think it's in the scripture, too, that, that I have here. Hi, Leon. It's good to see you, my friend. Um, yeah, I am the light of the world. This is Jesus. John's recording in his eighth chapter. Later on, Jesus spoke to them again, and uh, saying, uh, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will never walk, walk in darkness, but will have the, the light of life. And so there you go, mm -hmm. Tommy. You have it. Uh, I'm sorry, it's highlighted in gray. I, I do that to paste, cut it and paste it, and I always forget to go back and unhighlight it. Uh, but there you have it. Um, so it is, it's life, um, light, there's life in Christ, and he is, uh, today I was pointing out, you know, and again, I was, I was teaching, although I was preaching, you know, it was kind of a mixture, but I was trying to do more teaching, and, uh, and so, um, you know, pointing to those and, and wanted to point out and highlighted that Christ is known as the Word. Um, he's known as life, and he's known as light. He's known as a lot mm -hmm. of other titles uh, as well. Um, but It's yeah. even, you know, this week, you know, I don't even like to get into politics, but we got two politicians this week. We're perverting the word of God again, like yes. you mentioned when we first started. Oh, really? Giving it. their own yeah. interpretation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's horrible. Uh, what, what did they do with it? I mean, obviously um, they weren't in the light, right? <laughs> just, just perverting it and saying that, and suggested that one of them was suggesting. Uh, I'm not even going to go there. Okay. I'm not, not right. going to go there. Sure. 
Um, I ain't mentioning any names or anything, but it was just uh, just like, you know, how do you do that? How do you take, you know, godliness and the word of God to support an abomination? And yet they were. Yeah. Saying if you really love and you're really a Christian, you wouldn't be opposed to this. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. We're, we're, um, and if you if you know anything about this as a Christian, you immediately recognize that that's perverted yeah. and distorted. Where a lot of people, if they aren't in the Word of God, and know the context, well, and, that, and that brings the point. And one of the one of, in, in in the coming uh, series um, that I'll be talking about is is that there is counterfeit light, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. Um, in 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 John, I made I made the point of reading there in in First John, um, he or not First John, but in the Gospel of John, he refers to him as the true light. And when you look at that, you know that then that infers that if there's true light, there must be counterfeit. Yeah, false light. Yep. You know, um, a counterfeit. And so we're going to talk about more about that. And I mentioned it today. You know, Lucifer is known as as light, you know, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you love teaching, preaching. Well, that's sort of what I was doing today. I got too excited to not call it preaching, but it was most <laughs> mostly trying to teach. That's the best. The, that's it's a good mix. Yeah, it was fun. I had fun today. Can you tell? And Tommy, we turned out the lights, and uh, we still weren't in total darkness. <laughs> and. Um, you know, I, I I saw John when I turned off those side lights. You know, and he's kind of like, "What's that?" You know, he mm-hmm. really likes those side lights. Oh, <laughs> you know, I don't know why, but he does. But, uh, uh, you know, and and I think that it was obvious why I would I wanted them off, and I knew where I was going to go with this. Um, so, yeah, God God is light, and He illuminates. One one of the things that you said, you know, about having the light in us. One one of the things that we are not. Is we're not a source of light we reflect the light and so the the closer we get to God and I didn't say this today yep. um, probably should preach on this a little bit but 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 really the the way this thing works from what I can see is is the closer we get to God the more we reflect the source the brighter yeah we become Mm -hmm. you know to to become more like him and so the closer we are to christ um the more we manifest his light in us you know and and i know that he's in us but we're not the we're not the source of light he's the source of light i don't know does that make sense even um and so but we do reflect light and and i do photography all over the place and and was switch, switching some lights here just tonight, you know, and I thought about doing that for one of my illustrations is, is just taking a sheet of white paper and um, I actually could do that for our audience here tonight. We could take your, your dark side and reflect the light and, sh- and, and it, would, it would actually light up that darker area. And so the closer we get to God, the more, um, the more we reflect God and his likeness and, uh, you know, I, I just I thought that was, and, and that that was one of the things in my in my studies. One of the uh, when you read the commentaries, one of the, you know, what I call the smart guy books. Oh. you know, and I like to read the commentaries. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Matthew Henry, although to our audience, um, he's a tough read because he speaks in the old King's English because he's coming out of this, out of the um, 17th century, 18th, 18th century. So I it's kind of like reading the yeah the old King's, King James. Yeah, the thing. old King James, and so. You know he'll, he'll he'll you know but he's he's a good read mm-hmm. and he's got he, he's pretty solid in uh, his theology and his understanding and I like to read him um, I do I do some of my part of should I share how all this inspiration comes from messages I'm doing devotions and um, uh, Oswald Cham- Chambers is yeah. that um, I'm, I'm he has daily devotionals and mm-hmm. I've been doing his and and so some of this has been spurred out of some of the things he said and then just things that had clicked for me and it was like, oh, yeah, that is so awesome. And, and the Lord just kind of, 
it, you know, and it doesn't go away, Terry. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how you know. What, yeah. Okay, Lord, I, I hear this. And then, then I'm reading like four or five days later and something else he said. And it's like, oh, that is so cool. How can I not share that, mm -hmm. you know? And so we're in for a fun time in this series. We really are. I got seven minutes. Um, any questions for us? Any comments you guys have? Uh, <laughs> got to get bigger candles. No, it isn't bigger candles, Tommy. The, the candles all, it's more candles. Um, actually, it's, it's interesting with, with, when, you, when you talk about photography and stuff. It's really all based on candles. It really is. Tommy, it's, you, you meant it probably for fun, but that's mm -hmm. how light is measured. In, it's in candle um, candle power. It really is. Uh, most people won't know that, but 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 that comes out of my photography background. They haven't uh, changed. It, they haven't changed it to lumens in <coughs> photography yet. Huh? Well, what they're what they're what, what is happening when I worked at Menards, um, the U.S. government is we're doing we're doing away with incandescent light bulb, light fixtures. Right. Everything's going to LED. Right. And. Uh, and people are not liking it. Well, the LEDs I've noticed are a lot better, the more modern ones. When yeah. they first came out, they were just like, weren't, but I've noticed so, now the newer ones What, what are you much have to better. start, you know, and, I, and, and now I'm not working there, but, but what, what, what I found myself doing is I'm, I'm starting to pick up on the lumens. You know, how many lumens does it yeah. take? Uh, the fluorescents that are above us um, to get that equivalent, you're gonna need about 7,500 lumens. You know, so you start you start figuring yeah. it out. You know, these are all the flashlights ones. now. That, yeah, that, they're actually they're very bright. They're are, yeah, I mean, they'll well, put out your light. I've got one that's like eleven hundred, <laughs> and now there's an even more powerful one. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's incredibly powerful. Bigger candles, huh? Any any favorite light verses coming from our audience? Uh, and and again, Leon and. Uh, Rick, I am sorry about the stream this morning. I have some questions for you guys after the, after the program. Well, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Any, anything else we would would want to share? You know, I don't. I don't want to pre-preach. I'm, I'm so pumped about this whole series. So I'm excited. Um, one one of the series is what kind of what kind of light are you? And what, one of the titles is at least I think that's where God is taking me. What kind of light mm -hmm. are you? Uh, you you said you didn't want to really. You didn't really want to go there this morning yeah. when I we were talking. You know what kind of light are you, and uh, the different purposes of light. You know, there's there's some mm -hmm. purposes to what we reflect and what we're doing. And uh, hiya, Jim. Good to have you. Um, you're five minutes left in in the program here, and then then the post show. And you know, we always talk about good food <laughs> in the post show. Here but, we go. Uh, uh, you had to get some grading done. Yeah, for those who don't know, he is a professor at a couple colleges, oh, if I grading, remember right. Yeah, grading. yeah. The job is never done till till the paperwork is done. Uh, Jimbo, are you for real, Ray? You need to have more respect for your elders than that. Uh, after all, he is a substitute grandfather for your children. Um. Uh, we, we're, we're talking about being light, uh, Jim, is what is where we're at in uh, three colleges. Oh, my goodness. You'll have to share with us in the post program what three. Uh, you picked up another college this semester. Boy, oh, boy. You're ambitious. Um, anything you want to say about, about being in the light? But anyhow, the, there's no way I could have started this series without starting with, with the subject that I that I started with today mm -hmm. and, and what is light and then the real question becomes who's the light you know because you you it's not a question really of what uh, as much as it is a question of who and it goes back to the creator and I, I find it fascinating and never really thought much about this but but he starts with darkness and light and always yeah in, in, in exposing and so he comes and then when you, you think about Jesus stepping into this world and into this darkness um, almost, um, you know, to me that is, that just almost seems blasphemous. <laughs> you know, but he but he loved us that much. He wanted to come and mm -hmm. shed light into our world and help us to find our way um, and, and and fix things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, Kate. That's one of the, one of the things that we're going to come come to. But uh, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it 
on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Yeah. Last I checked, I was real. Because <laughs> <laughs> I said, are you for real? Giving Jim a hard time, yeah. If you don't think he's for real, just give him a little poison ivy and he'll react just like He'll react just like everybody yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, he is. He likes poison ivy. I, yeah. I understand that. <laughs> See, he doesn't forget much. Ray, I have to be careful around Terry. He keeps me honest. Um, we have about two minutes. Anything else you got? Any questions you guys might have? Any, you know, here's here's a, a let's. This is a fun thing. Is there is there a place you would like me to go and preach on regarding the light? I'm open to that. You know, um, just I'm I'm willing. <laughs> you know, I'm willing to do my best. To, to teach and help people know. Uh, but we want to be children of the light, and that's what we are uh, for those of us in Christ. Uh, we're children of the light. Um, we need to let our light shine. Uh, we're going to do next week, and I hope I get this this issue with our streaming on uh, in the morning straightened out. Uh, but one of, the, one of the songs we're going to sing, you already know, is uh, This Little Light of Mine. Huh? Can't wait. Yeah. I probably shouldn't do a solo here without help, with my wife's help. Um, and dancing to oh. it. Yeah, do we got to have her little, dancing. Do yeah. a little dancing. Yeah. Katie, do you dance? I know your husband does. I, I was in church with him, and he's, he's up front, and Katie's leading music, and he's back there. He's doing the dance, man. He's going to town. I had to whisper to him, we don't dance in church. And he started laughing. So he's a, he, you know, he's got the moves. Ooh, he's getting down. <laughs> he's one of them cool preachers. Dances all over the place in the front pew. Uh, just saying. Um, if you're looking for a church, and uh, we kind of were all over the place tonight, um, and you're anywhere near the Rochester, Minnesota area, this is our address, 41028 Street. Our worship times are at 1030. We have a... Um, small group that meets at, at 9 30 here at the church on sunday morning and then again on friday the ladies meet at 9 30 here at the church would love to have you join us would you but one thing's for certain is is that uh, jesus christ is the light of the world and in him there is no darkness and if we are in the light and we walk in christ then there is light and tommy said that there that, that there is life in christ um so we don't have to grope in the dark. That is good news. That is great news, actually. Well, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for the post show.